Okay, so we've got a chicken breast. Let's put it down on there. Get our trusty rusty knife. Now the idea here is to, well I'm going to make two up. I'm going to, I've got one here and I'm going to put the um, a chunk on top there. So it sits on the most aerobic part of it. And this one I'm going to put a nice chunk in the bottom and then fill it up with um, polystyrene. So we can sort of enact what we've learned from um, the uh, polyethylene cling wrap that uh, it probably absorbs the uh, reductive flammable gas so that your, your only reductive uh, flammable gas environment or an anaerobic to semi microaerophilic is down the bottom which it seems to be where the organism seems to want to grow so we're just going to open this up and see what we've got for three for three dollars And yeah, it's in a nice bit of plastic bag, so we'll, so we've got a nice chunk of that, nice slab of that. So, mm, <laughs> smell o vision. Uh, we'll wash our hands afterwards because it could be sour vanilla, but I thought I'd make it up fresh. And oh, we gotta cut it up into bigger chunks first, sort of thing. probably do this uh, now I'm going to cut uh, you've got to start somewhere and this is just qualitative experiment so it's not quantitative at the moment we're just in the quality does it work on it is this sort of nitrogen uh, pathway come kind of re is that what the organism wants so I'm going to cut something the size of a snail I would say and a snail or a slug so I'm cutting something there that's going to be like a snail or a slug that's accidentally fallen into the into the bottle so I'll put that one into this size one we should be able to slide that down into the container if, we, if we're careful and we'll drop that in there remember you've got to wash your hands afterwards so that, that will slide down in there in the bottom in there I don't know if you can see that in there and uh, then I'm going to drop this one in the surface of this one and then we'll do all our normal stuff. So that will sit on the surface of, the poly of all the polystyrene. Polystyrene will be bringing up the reductive flammable gas, but it may not be a totally reductive environment at the top here. So it might go green on here and we might learn something new. It might be red down the bottom, but green up the top, I don't know. So that's what we're going to try. So that's stage one. And what I might do is just continue to cut these into like little slug sized pieces which can also be cut into smaller pieces later on and I might uh, uh, freeze them sort of thing so they're re ready to go like that. Slug slide. I don't know. We can bring the camera down and uh, just quickly bring the camera down and into line with this. And you can watch me do it more succinctly I think. And we'll cut these into like well, this. Like a, this one will be like a giant slug sort of thing. And so we, maybe we cut that down the middle into two two slug slice pieces or snails or whatever. And this probably goes back to the days of when uh, John Mignano was putting uh, snails and slugs into the uh, open pictures of his uh, purple ears or perps. Yeah, and a couple of you know, flatlanders. There's only, there's only a few flatlanders, but I used to like the flatlanders. If we get uh, Gaudio Pandelli into the Flatlanders, I'll be very happy, but uh, <laughs> so maybe that's a big, big fat slug, you know, and go on, like, go on and go like. Yeah, slug manufacturer, yeah, it's not, not to do with shotguns, no. <laughs> slug and pellet manufacturer, uh, yeah, see, that's this, this bit here with all this blood stuff, not consistent. Put that to one side. I reckon we'll get rid of that because it's not consistent. We want something. We want consistency. So we're trying to get rid of all the um, variables, the uh, artifacts that might come in by accident, like this little bit on the end here. We might want to get rid of that because it's a that could become an artifact that gets in the way of uh, our pathway or something like that. So we'll put that bit to one side. Might want to keep it though. You know, keep it in the freezer somewhere. Yeah, not, don't waste anything. 
But uh, so this is like a really big fat slug you probably find in that place that's in the, the um, uh, uh, Dave, not David Edinburgh, the um, man who died recently in the wild with Harry Butler. He went to, off to this section off place in the bush. It's like a big triangle area, and there's a particular type of slug there that doesn't grow anywhere else or something. If you want to look that up, that's pretty good. Good series, so 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 good. So many episodes that I haven't even got through the whole thing. So so. Yeah, well, that's probably like a snail sized piece. We want to get rid of that red bit though on the side there. In case we're using chicken breast because it's iron deficient. You know, white meats are iron deficient meats compared to red meats. So it could be that the organism doesn't like iron or the plants don't like iron because they can't control the organism or something like that. We don't know. But anyway, basically, I've done that and we'll just uh, take the camera down for a bit of a close up. Squeeze if we can. If we can. Without smegging up the camera too much. Okay, so there we go. We've got our slug pieces, and I'll just, uh, you know, use what I want to use and then freeze the rest, sort of thing. And maybe get some in ready preparation in the fridge. I don't know how long they only last a week or something like that. Maybe keep those ones in the fridge ready and the other ones I'll freeze into nice units I can use for experiments like, you know, two, three, four experiments, something like that. Anyway, that's about it for this clip. Okay, open it up for now.